all right so after having wrapped up our metroid zero mission shenanigans in just two sessions since it's not a particularly long game i figure let's make some more progress in dark deity here and oh my stream deck is unplugged right now because i freaking messed around my with my usb ports so i can't even use my stream deck to transition over right now i'm gonna have to like click manually to this why is my camera off on where's the game hey eh? did i break everything okay wonderful it's working so we're at chapter 22 at this point apparently this goes up until chapter 28 so we are making progress bit by bit through through this here game through this good old indie fire emblem like adventure so we got through all the supports and stuff that we needed to so i guess we'll just advance to the next chapter here and see what happens after the stress of two metroid escape sequences in a row it's time to chill with some more thought out tactical gameplay that is what we do taking red hell goes well now the revolution is in control of the war's flow they consider the next targets and settle on canopy bridge king varic has been transporting a variety of goods enabling his war effort across the bridge the troops plan to assault the town itself while irving's party will secure the bridge sophia who knows that section of forest better than nearly anyone knows of a secret river crossing she will bring a small force across to surround the troops on the bridge this should stop them from sending for reinforcements, allowing the revolution to secure the town. I'm going to turn up the game audio a little bit. I had it turned down for, like, uh, Metroid Zero Mission because it was kind of loud. So we'll turn up to, like, there-ish? Yeah, that seems like a good place for the audio, I think. Oh, that's a lot of baddies. It's fine, right? Impressive tracking, Sophia. I doubt I'd have been able to leave us here without detection. They've got no clue right under their noses. Let's hope it stays that way for a while. We're about to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with more troops than I like to think about. Isn't it fun to be packing canopy? I'm no. Lost. Someone explain the plan again? We have to stop any soldiers from fleeing the side of the city. If any make it to the forest outpost, we'll be up against more reinforcements than we can handle. Good thing Benji's here. For once, I might actually agree with you. Benji's literally my lowest level unit. I'm glad you're here to protect us, Benji. Thank you. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. I think for my friends. Seriously? I fight for my friends, similar to Ike. Maybe we continue this compliment fest later. Irving looks like he's starting to kick up some dust. On your feet, everyone. We can't let a single soldier through. Oh, that's a lot. Wait, so I have a few units starting on the other side and the rest are on, like, the left side? Or what's going on here? What is going on here? That's what I want to know. And who's it going to try to bring in my party? Loading is slightly off the screen there. This happens sometimes. It happens sometimes here and there. Loading. I don't have anything crazy running on my computer that make it load faster. Or load slower, right? Guess it's just a crazy map. Okay, yeah, that's everybody that I want to bring. So, what is going on here anyway? Yeah, we got six that started over there. Huh. Reach the Canopy Bridge Stronghold without letting any soldiers escape into the forest. So I assume we can still go across here. This isn't just like a wall. Because if these six can only take on those guys and that's it. That'd be pretty wacky. So, so six on that side and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. So who am I going to want on each side is the question of the day. I'm a little bit worried about getting surrounded by a bazillion dudos there. Does Sia have an advantage against these guys? Who does he have an advantage against? Just a disadvantage against a bunch of those guys. An advantage against some dudes here. But like, if she switches... She has an advantage against those guys. So we'll have Dodge Tank Caius be on this side and then Sia be on that side. And then... We can have Marin on that side. We can have two healers over here and then like the one better healer over here. But then who do we want to actually take on these dudes? Yeah, I do like the... Yeah, I do like these ideas. But Orima and, um, and who else? Do we want to bring Orima over there? Iris, do you want to, like, Iris has an advantage, apparently. And Alden, do I want to replace Alden with someone else that might have an advantage? I mean, there's Garrick. Garrick isn't the best, but he has an advantage. Now everybody has an advantage over here, except for our healer. So, what do we want to do over here now is the question. We have our dodge tank, we have our wall, and we have, like, some pretty strong mages. So, we can make a little choke point here. Yeah, reach the Campy Bridge Stronghold without letting any soldiers escape into the forest. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and save into that slot there as we do and start. So then. So then, what are we thinking here, huh? You are very beefy, aren't you? You have more fortitude than defense. Not the kind of thing you'd see in, like, Fire Emblem, but you see in this game. Isn't it crazy, let's crazy? It. Let's see here. Alden can do a lot. Alden can do quite a bit, though. So we'll try it out. I think I just heard my <laughs> doggy stretch back there and groan. Okay, not quite enough. Can Caius finish it in the then like formal kind of wall here? That's what I want to know. Well, he can do some damage. He can do some damage at least, but like... Nice miss, nerd. Nice 17% miss. Oh, one HP, really? Now, if only we had Garrick here. I mean, he'll just die on enemy phase. We can just leave him there, right? We can just leave him there and he'll die on enemy phase. And now we'll get, like, the two-tile buff from Sarah to make his evasiveness even better. Yeah, I like this idea. I like this idea. This works. I think it's the right side that I'm a little bit more worried about. This is a side I'm a bit more worried about, quite frankly. Like, we can have Bianca and Sia form a wall, but no real fourth person, or third person to form that wall. I mean, we could just form, like, a two-person wall, and then just have, like, the other units hide I behind, I guess, or something? As Sio says, I guess, as well. Like, let's see here. Yeah, you have a 1% chance to hit from there. I am the 1%. And you just can't do any damage to freaking Bianca because she's absolutely insane. Probably and getting a critical. A and getting a critical as well. Purdish, nice. Yeah, Bianca is Wait, definitely one me. of my tankier units here. So we could do something like this. Form a semi-wall. They're both stab. getting criticals, that works. That works out for me. Wonderful new stab a stab a stab. Maybe with some style cool. next time. So yeah, maybe we will just, you know, chill the hell out until next turn then. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's my thought process here. So we basically have a wall. So on enemy phase, they're all going to attack the characters who don't care too much. You could actually do some pretty good damage to Sia. Just your chance of hitting her is low. But if you go after Bianca, there's no chance of you doing anything. No chance of that. She'll just do a whole bunch of damage to you. She'll get a level up here, like, right now. You can do some damage, and you did do some damage. But because she has the skills that, like, heal her from dealing damage, she's just gonna heal it back immediately, and she's gonna get a level up to become even more OP. Even stronger. Not bad, not bad. Cool. Welp. Yeah, Bianca is, uh, Wrong day to play here. absolutely one of my best units. Absolutely one of my best units here. Pretty darn crazy. Stab a stab a stab. The stab a spear. Is she just gonna delete everybody? She can't double that guy. You're really gonna try but, me? But she's just gonna delete him anyway. Cool, 112 to his, like, 90-something health. Is she gonna delete everyone that she can? Because looking like she might. She might. She's thinking about it. <laughs> Activating Tempest Strike will finish it. Me to thank you? Okay, it looks like that one, uh... Dudo couldn't reach Bianca, so he just chilled there. Yeah, 1% chance to land. Against good old Caius here. But Caius isn't quite as good at dodging those archers as he used to be. Not quite. They did definitely With nerf dodge shot, tanks in this progress. game a bit. They did do that. Well, not enough for these cases. But for the archers that are still particularly mean, it can be a bit scary. But these situations we're just fine with. Okay. Alright, well, we... Wait, our goals arrive? Wait, resume. Oh yeah, I guess arrive like here then, huh? So can we make it across here, or are those just, like, impassable tiles? It looks like it might be impassable. Oh, no. Did I just have some of my best units over here just for, like, the tiniest little squad ever? Could well have been the case. Um, 
Come on, 64. Why do hit rates suck in this game sometimes? I'm glad that it landed, though. Thank goodness. So, hold on. Let's try it. Okay, that's a lot of damage because we activated Squall Strike and Tempest Strike. But there's a dodge. So, for this map, is this whole side just going to be done with, like, in no time at all? And then, you know. And then freaking this side doesn't get to do anything anymore? Because if so, that kind of sucks. Oh, you come so close. Oh, you can double with this, I guess. Look, he has 100 HP. Good old Monroe. Welp. Glad you're on my side. Okay, well. Go ahead and attack this dudo. Get a crit. Sorry in advance. Yeah, our, his crit always seems to be around 55. Always seems to be. So his crits are kind of like slightly better 50-50s. What? These guys? Oh, they can't move. They're just freaking weird. Um, Bianca's lower level, so she can just go there and get some, I guess. Um, yeah, How nobody has anything that needs to be healed, so like... Yeah, that whole side might be done in no time at all, whereas this side has a bazillion dudes to get through. If so, then I don't like the map design of this map if you have two different squads and one squad is done in like a few turns and another squad takes like a bazillion years, you know? Would not exactly be the biggest fan. Okay, we should probably just get in there because these bow dudes are gonna freaking delete us otherwise, you know? It's not even showing the area properly that you'd be able to attack. Um, Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, I guess, or something. Huh. Huh. 26 times 2. No chance of, like, critting or anything like that because we have that one aspect. I mean... Aw, oh, dang. So I guess Sarah can't do it. Hmm. I mean, Alden can, I guess. I guess Alden can, and he'll just do it with a critical. That works. That works out. Sure. Okay. Um, and then... Huh. I do worry about all of them surrounding Caius. Wait, if they go after Vesta, Vesta's not gonna care, right? Because she's freaking beefy as heck. Let's try this. Let's give it a shot rather than rushing in there. We'll just have Vesta there. Kai's is like our semi-dodge tank. Yeah, Vesta's just our tank tank. <laughs> this is absolutely absurd, so... Keeps activating Indomitable every time. What's that again? That like reduces your damage when you're at full health, I think. If I recall. And meanwhile over here. Meanwhile. Sia's gonna be deleting her own dudos. As she does. As she oftentimes does. Oh, that dude's coming down now. Okay, well. Yeah, this whole side might just be done like very soon here. Could well be the case. Yeah, always a 55% crit. Right now? Basically like the 50-50 crits that he has. Welp. Um, Thunderlord. Try it out! I had enough. We're getting a lot of crits. We are getting a lot of crits today, it seems like. Do you expect me to thank you? Well, we can just put Bianca in there and then like... Monroe can get all the way over here and then just like delete this guy. You crossed the wrong Valbury. So Well Free level up for Monroe, I will take it. Impressive. 102 HP. Not? It's getting up there. You had to readjust. Yeah, so is this side just gonna be like done? Or something like that? So I don't know. Wow, what the hell? Let's go for one, I guess. We can just phase him out of there while we leave Vesta there doing her thing. Slow and steady wins the race, right? Ow. Huh? 
And then we, uh... This will be quick. Let me do that. We need you in I this guess. 48% chance to hit. 86, but like... Yeah, sure. We do that. So yeah, what's the Indomitable again? Um, damage over 20% of max HP is reduced by half. Huh. So... If you're not, like, about to die, you'll, receive, you'll just receive half damage. Interesting. Well... This is not really gonna be a whole lot to see here. We're just gonna keep on taking no damage. This could absolutely be another Vesta EXP machine right here. Effort duly rewarded. Yes, let's make her even more tanky. Yes. Well, who needs a dodge tank when you have a tank tank, you know? It's funny how people use the term tanks as like this super defensive kind of thing, Rebob. Tanks are, they look like they'd be like ultra safe. They're actually not as safe as you think they'd be. Not quite. Yeah, is this whole side just like done in a second here? Oh, I guess not. I guess they can keep on fighting reinforcements. Okay, so there is still gonna be like things on this side, I guess. So there's that at least. Um, what's this gonna be, huh? I was honestly kind of expecting it to miss. In a way. Well, they'd be able to do 38. Monroe's not gonna care too much, I guess. <laughs> that damage though, huh? Okay. Well, what's focused again? Oh yeah, the whole standing still thing where Bob, because he didn't move in that turn. Never ask. Was the thing. Welp. Sorry, now advance. he's getting a lot of these 55% crits. I remember in like previous maps, he was struggling to get a bunch of these, bunch of these crits or whatnot. Yeah, so we could just chill there and then that stuff happens, I guess. Go ahead and heal, just because. Yeah. That yeah, sounds good to me. Anyway, what are we doing over here? Vesta's just having the time of her life as she does. Vesta's just having a great time. Okay, well, no 43% crit. Not this time. Sucks. We could probably leave Irving there. Probably I don't have to worry. As long as we heal here. Do not lose hope. And then like, yeah, we'll go for another smackaroo. Face your judgment. We'll get a crit. <laughs> oh, the lightning smackaroo. And not a whole lot of experience because of how high level Vesta is. Yeah, we'll just end turn. We'll just end turn with that. Yeah, any damage you do to Bianca, she's literally just going to heal back up again. This is absolutely insane. <laughs> this this Bianca build. My goodness. Like, what you gonna do? Even when you do do smidges of damage, she just heals it back immediately. So... Monroe's gonna care a decent bit, but... But it's fine. It's free experience for him. Yeah, we can just skip the rest here. That's what we can do. Okay, way up. Um, no more reinforcements here right now, at least. Garrick could, uh, use this as an opportunity. Right between the eyes. Yeah, he's getting a lot of crits now. Why can't he always be getting a lot of crits? Why can't this always be the case? We can do this. That's what I want to know. We're gonna get a level up there soon. So I guess Irving didn't get a crit I on will. enemy phase. Considering this guy's still alive. Come on, crit! Darn it! He has that aspect where every time he gets a crit, it gives him more crit for the whole rest of the chapter, so... Stop poking me. I mean, Faust is gonna be getting a lot of crit for his next immediate attack. Considering his thing Bob that he has. Wait, well, we'll take out you. It had to be done. Wow, we gained like no experience for that with how much experience Vesta has. So maybe I shouldn't even bother like attacking there and just be giving these to like Irving. Maybe I will. I don't know. Let's see here. Come on, crit. Yes. You won't feel a thing. All right. So we get the crit there finally. So now his crit should be at like four to five. Next time he fights one of those dudos. Oh, that sucks. That's a pretty sucky level up, wasn't it? My goodness, whale. Yeah, Alden can just do this. Yeah, we'll just try to make our way forward here bit by bit. 
Okay, if he activates that again, then, uh, no, he didn't proc anything this time. Not this time. Darn. Darn it. Well, got a level up, though. I've got a lot to learn. Well, defense went up. Defense speed. Always good things, I suppose. This will be quick. Okay, yeah, we'll do that for now. Yeah. So one should attack Irving. Oh, there's more reinforcements there? This is some... Some other dude. Like, Bianca can literally just chill there and not care. Is the thing. I can put C at the other one, I guess. Just not really care much. No damage! Wow! You're really gonna try me? Yeah, Bianca's got to be one of our best units. Bianca and Sia. It used to be Bianca, Sia, Caius, but Caius isn't quite as good anymore. Ow. So there was more reinforcements without me even realizing it. Wacky. Well? He's critting! Huh! Okay, let's get Monroe out of there and get Sia in there. How dare you? He's just living with how much absurd HP he has. Yep, 45 crit now. And now it's gonna become 46 crit. Is what it shall be. Cool. Yeah, yeah, no damage. No damage. We can probably get in there starting this next turn. Most likely. Um, so... Yeah, get on one of those tiles for that, then. Nobody can reach that spot. But this is fair game for Orima to get a kill. Boost up his power and whatnot. Our Fire Lord. Our super strong Fire Lord here. Even now, the arena yeah, is not the most defensive stats, but that's a okay. Whatever it takes. So. Let's, um, 46% crit. And now it's gonna become 47%. So bit by bit. Bit by bit. So you should be able to attack those tiles. You're just freaking weird. You can go here, heal. That's what we do. We need you in this fight. And then get at the ready over here. Am I needed? You are needed. Huh? You are indeed. Let's move on down. And then over here. We're gonna need to like. Yeah, let's move. Whatever you need. Out of the way. Sia can be here. And then Monroe can be chilling there as well. So we can have these two mages, along with our healer, ready at this choke point for reinforcements. And then up here is just freaking Bianca and Garrick versus the world. I guess. This is what's going on. Let's end turn. Let's end our turn there so that one dudo should come down. The one raider. Yep. Yeah. You can't do any damage. You cannot. You can't do it. You can try, but you won't do it. Both of you can try. And now you're baited out. Wonderful news. Yeah. Vesta has got to be one of our best units as well for like the role that she fits. Absolutely. You know? Huh. So we can move her into like this range as well. This is what we can do. Oh, she can actually receive some decent damage back there. Huh. Huh. Well, let's see here. How much can we do here? 32. I mean, Faust crit is gonna be kind of silly right now. Yeah, 54. I mean, what can Irving do with, like... I will. Our movement is more crit. Doesn't have to worry about those I tiles. Will. So if we go over here and then go to, like, the crit weapon, the lucky stick... Father, give me yeah. strength. We can give him more and more crit. Please, miss. Nice. You won't feel a thing. Nice! So yeah, his crit is gonna keep on going up and up. Because of that one aspect. Yeah, getting 
Critting increases crit chance by 1% for the rest of the level. So now it's at 90% with the crit weapon, the lucky stick. <laughs> that right there is pretty wacky, isn't it? Yeah, Vesta's gonna want to be the one that's in range of these dudes. To bait them out. Rather than Caius, I think. Take the tank tank over the dodge tank, because our tank tank is absolutely ludicrous. And now Orima can get the kill. Now he can. Nice. Nice move. Nice moves. Um. So yeah, this tile's out of range, so it's fair game to put Sophia here, and then like, 58%. Should have figured. Should have figured, huh? Yeah, you've got a 1% chance to hit. So like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? That's what I thought. That's kind of what I thought you might do. Good. Just do it again. Okay. So then. Whole bunch of crit for you. Uh, we'll go there for like the buff because it's going to be um, um, bond units within two tiles increase damage by 5%. Um, ally accuracy within two tiles by 20%. And allies within two tiles of increased dodge. Are you I mean, sure? Vesta's not going to have much dodge, especially with her eternal aspect and whatnot. Yeah, there's more dudes there, but, like, we can just leave our choke points the way that they are and really not have to worry about a thing. I will do that, I guess, for some player phase damage, but, I mean, here it can even attack from here for some player phase damage. May as well, I guess. May as well, I suppose, and then we'll end turn. We'll be A-OK. -okay. We shall be a-okay. Everything is wonderful. Should I have healed Monroe some more? I think I still had the opportunity to heal some more there. Yeah, Bianca's never gonna need healing because she's uh, healing any smidge of damage that she takes, so like, who cares? So who cares about that? Pretty crazy. Pretty cray-cray. So I guess this side can still do things. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have Monroe right behind Sia. Because she'll have more dodge if there's, like, no one adjacent to her is the thing. And then the others might not even be able to get any experience off of it at all. I don't know. I don't know, man. What my plan is. Alright, that's pretty alright, I suppose. It's pretty alright. Yeah, good that Vesta's baiting out these dudes because she just can't take damage. She just can't. You can try to deal damage to her, but you just can't do it. You can try your best, but it ain't happening. She can't do much damage herself, but she is now one of my best units for uh, baiting out enemies. I mean, she already has kind of been throughout this playthrough, but like, especially nowadays, she absolutely is. So, um... On. 40? 62, huh? 62 is quite a bit, isn't it? I will. I mean... We can do this purely to get our crit higher up, is what we can do. Made your death a like, it's gonna do next to no damage, but we can do this just for the sake of getting our crit up. With that one eternal aspect. Wow, we actually didn't get a crit that time. Didn't get the 86 crit, that sucks. Hmm. Hmm, well... I mean... Yeah. Wow, you missed the 60% crit. You didn't quite get it, but that time you got it. Pay with your blood. That time you got it, though. So, stab a stab. Cool. Cool. And a free level up. Nice. It just works. It just works. The defenses didn't go up, but that's fine, I guess. I don't have to worry about anybody reaching those tiles. It doesn't seem like. Can we weaken you down for Orima? 20. My headphones just cut out again, at just as they were during freaking Metroid Zero mission that we were streaming a streaming earlier. And whatnot. But it should be fine. Hit the 44! Oh, you actually hit the 44! Is that enough for, like... Ooh. Could well be. You missed a 93.
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's just delete this guy with Sarah real quick. Just delete him for a hot second. Okay, well. Level up. Nice. Nice, nice. Todd, please stop trying to sell me your game in a non-Bethesda game. But it just works. It just works. Or whatever the... I don't remember what the whole quote is. But I know that it just works. How are you doing today, baseball? Welcome to our shenanigans. Let's smack a -roo with big damage. And then... There's two archers there. We can probably bait you out with Kai's. That's probably a fair enough play. Probably? What's going on over here, huh? Okay, just this whole freaking conundrum at the moment. Where I guess we'll do that. Stab a stab. And then, uh... Move here, because when you have no adjacent allies, see you, you get more dodge. And we can just, like, chill here for now and, like, do this. Sure. Right between the eyes. Sure, that works. That works out for me. Smackaroo. There goes that dudo. I mean, we could have just left him to see you, but... Getting experience on other nerds is probably a good idea as well. It's good to be me. That was a very good level up, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, I think that's a good place to call that turn. I think. Yeah, if there's nobody adjacent to her, 1% chance to hit. But if there is somebody adjacent to her, then it's like a 16% chance to hit. Ah, nice miss. Nice miss, nerd. Big spins? The biggest of spins. Not quite gonna kill, 7 HP left, it seems like. Ooh, that is slightly scary to hit rates. Yeah, Kai's isn't as good of a dodge tank as it used to be. C is now where it's at when it comes to dodge tanks. Yeah, those guys can just like chill there and whatnot. The ones dealing with Bianca don't have to, don't have any chance. I mean, neither of them really have any chance though. Wow, that time we didn't get the crit, but ah well. Ah, well. Wait, isn't there a heal I can do here? Eh. We'll do that. We'll do that. It's a more experience, so may as well take it. May as well, right? So, we should rush in there. Who's gonna want this initial kill? I mean, Vesta's gonna be, like, the weakest hitting. If she can land this. She takes, like, no damage from nerds, but... She doesn't hit very hard, so she may as well do that again, like, no experience from it, basically. Um, so the mages would be able to attack from there. Eh. Maybe we'll play it safe and not go into their range. Maybe. Maybe we will. And it'll be fine. And then the mages will be baited out to attack them next turn. We didn't get the 87 crit, man! At least we got one there. Give me strength. It sucks because every time we crit, we get even more crit. I want to see that go up and up, you know? That's what I want to see in my life. Nobody's gonna reach there. So we can go here for that two tile buff for some allies. Maybe we should have come here first with Sarah then. Now that I'm thinking about it. I'll smack a rude at guy a couple times. There he goes. And then, um. Are you sure? It's fine if Alden gets hit by a mage. 74 times 2, huh? Welp. Sorcerer's Sting might just do it. Because that's being activated. Yep, that'll just do it. Nice. So now I don't have to All worry right, about a little bit of my HP already being gone for the next enemy phase. Sweet. Let's get going. And Kai's whittle you down without taking you out. Sure, let's go for this. And then maybe Orima can get the kill. Because he has a whole bunch of stuff that makes him more powerful with each kill. Yeah, let's go for it. Weakness has consequences. Let's go for it. Absolutely. Smackaroo. Cool. Quite a level up yet, but... Alright, get that heal. And then be on our merry way. Okay. Yeah. That seems pretty A-O good. That seems pretty A-O. Okay, so those mages will come down. After these guys are done dealing with Bianca, who they literally can't do anything to at all. They can do nothing to you. My legs are getting cold. I have a blanket under the desk, so I'm gonna pull it over my over my legs again and whatnot, because I'm starting to freeze. It's one of those nights where I'm getting real cold here in the land of Canada, where we actually have a heat wave going through. Oh, you can actually hit for a decent bit of damage, but Alden should heal that anyway because of his skills and stuff that he has. 
Bam. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's like it never even happened. I mean, you could, there's still some damage. Wow, they landed two 46s in a row. Unbelievable. Well, we'll get a bunch of our HP back anyway. This is what we will, Dragon Soul. Cool. Cool, cool. Alden's gonna get a level up here soon. What, those guys are baited out, but they're going all the way around? Bring it around town. Yeah, they can almost all come out there, so like... So we'll get Vesta in there. This is what we'll do. Get like the buff of being close and whatnot as we do this. Whatever it um, takes. Irving can stay there because Let's more movement it. is more crit. Stop I suppose. Me. Okay. Okay. Me. Yeah. This is my plan. Yeah, Irving can just chill out there because more movement is more crit. So like, whatever. You know. This should be fun. You know. Let's snipe that guy. Sorry in advance. We'll snipe that dudo. Cool. Well, crits are just kill with his additional crit modifiers that he has. Okay, wait. Well, take out you. Bianca's gonna be gaining very little experience. Yep. We could fill all these tiles probably and not have to worry about reinforcements anymore, but like where's the fun in that, you know? Whatever you need. Besides, experience. My headphones just you popped again. Chance. I really, really need to freaking figure out what the hell is going on with these headphones. Maybe file a complaint, see if I can refund. Probably not refund, but I don't know. I don't know. The fact that these headphones are bugging out all the time sucks. Well, delete that guy. Just like that. More experience. Okay. Enter. Enter. Okay. Bit by bit here. Yeah, those dudes are coming on down. Yeah, you are not going to be able to do, like, anything against Vesta. At all. She does very, very little damage herself, but, like, she also receives nothing. <laughs> this is the thing. Oh, the duality. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about those guys or anything. So let's see here. I got some more crits. Oh, we don't double or anything. Can we double you? 96% crit there. You won't feel a thing. This isn't exactly gonna be doing a whole lot of damage. Barely anything. But we're doing it because if we get two crits here, that'll give us 2% crit for the whole rest of the map. My headphones are bugging. I'm plug I'm unplugging them, I'm plugging them back in again. See if that dulls anything, but like. I doubt it. Is all my audio just gone now? All my audio is just gone. Why is all my audio just gone? The hail? Uh let's see here. Open sound settings. Change it to that and then change it back to my headset. No, my audio is gone. Like the game audio is just gone. Why? The heck? And I can't hear anything anymore. But why? What I, I'm gonna get a freaking refund on these headphones. Pieces of crap. <laughs> I've only had them for a few months and they're already breaking. My goodness. Um. What if I... What if we turn on some music or something? Would we be able to hear that? Let's see here. This is Snivy's remix I was listening to earlier today. Yeah, we hear that. But no game? The game's just gone. The game just has no audio anymore. Um. Wow. This is, uh. This game has battle saves, right? Where if we go to the main menu, we can resume from that battle save. Is there a way that I can do a battle save specifically? I really hope I don't regret this. Uh, why is it frozen? My computer, I can hear the fans of my computer speeding up. Oh, well, there's that. Hold on, I'm gonna exit and then boot it up again. What I'm gonna do. I don't know why the audio just 
It's gone. We're gonna get audio now. So, let's see about this whole battle save thing that I haven't tried out. And I was a little bit sketched out about trying out there. So if I've just lost my progress in that map, that's gonna suck. We have audio again. And my audio just cut out in my headphones again. But it's here, it just popped. Battle save, load save slot, battle save. It resets the music. It doesn't do any- Oh my good gracious. Have I actually screwed myself for literally like the third or fourth time? How do you do a battle save? I saw no option anywhere. Clicking load save slot battle save does nothing. I... I can't. Unless I load this and... Nope. Well, this is going to wind up being another one of those chapters that I do off camera and then we freaking see the cutscenes ending at the moment we start the next stream. Again. <laughs> oh man, you love to see it, I guess. Well, thanks all who stopped by and hung out and I guess I'll head out of here and before we start the next stream of Dark Deity, I'll do that map. How many times has this happened?